sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here, and today in this video we do have another latest additions video. I did get a decent amount of figures in the mail, and then I did get a few Blu-rays as well, so we'll go over the Blu-rays. I also did get this pretty cool Spawn hat that cost almost 30 bucks, but I do like that hat there. I did get five Blu-rays, so the first one I got was Battleship, which I really enjoyed this movie. I know when it first came out, people really didn't like it, but I thought it was a fun action alien invasion movie. If you've never seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out if you like uh, just fun action movies, you know what I mean? And it is directed by Peter Berg. Most of the time, I usually like his movies. He does some really good movies, so I did get that. I also did get A Perfect World with Kevin Costner, which is directed by Clint Eastwood. This is also a very good movie. I remember watching this when I was younger with my dad, and it was a movie I always did like, so I, I did uh, finally end up buying it to add into my Blu-ray collection. It is a good movie if you like Clint Eastwood's movies that he directs and movies starring Kevin Costner. Another Kevin Costner movie I got is an instant classic right here. It's just, it's just a classic movie, Dances with Wolves. Uh, just a great story. There's also a cool story about the guy who wrote it. He was Kevin Costner's friend, and Kevin Costner uh, told a little story about it, which was pretty interesting. But this is such a great movie. I believe it's on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend checking this out. Kevin Costner won, like, Best Actor and a Director for it, and the guy who wrote it won, like, Best Screenplay, Michael Blake, I believe it is. And the last two I got, Friday Night Lights, probably my favorite football movie. This is just a really great movie. If you've never seen it, definitely check this out as well. And then uh, this is a movie I love here. It's a Keanu Reeves movie called Street Kings. If you've never seen this and you liked movies like Training Day, stuff like that, watch this. Such a great movie. And I wish Keanu Reeves, uh, they, they had... I never saw the second one, but I wish they made a different second or sequel to this movie with Keanu Reeves. Such a dope movie. I'm probably going to watch that this weekend. So I got all that stuff. Now, for the figures here, I did get this figure, which isn't really an older release, but it's also not newer, and it is the Marvel Legends Hemdall. I always thought his name was Hemdall, but it's uh, pronounced Hemdall, which I recently learned from Shardimus Prime watching his review of uh, this figure here. He is my favorite character from the Thor universe. He is one of my more favorite MCU characters. Idris Alba's awesome as Hemdal. And uh, he just has a dope sword, man. He's a, he's a really cool character. Really dig uh, how, how they portrayed him in the MCU. Would have liked to see more of him in the Thor movies, but my favorite scene with Hemdal is in... Thor, the Dark World, is when the Dark Elves started heading into Asgard, and he just took down a damn Dark Elf ship. He just took it down himself with two blades. Not even this sword, it was two blades. I thought that, that was his most badass uh, scene in the MCU, so I did get that. I don't know if I'm going to review it. If you really want me to, I could do maybe like a quick look review of that figure. And then the next figure I got here I already did review and that is the Hasbro Black Series Baby Yoda, which is a, a great figure, man, especially for it being an inch and what, a uh, quarter of an inch tall. Hasbro did a, a nice job with it and if you're wondering where I got this uh, bag or pouch, I did get it from the Mesco Old Man Logan. It was for the Baby Hulk, but you can squeeze Baby Yoda in there and then put it on IG-11 here. So really glad I ended up getting this. It's a, it's a dope figure, even though I'm still going with uh, the SH Figure Arts one. Another figure I recently got that I did review as well is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Destro. I don't know if I'm going to get any more figures from Wave 1 or Series 1. I might end up getting Duke and Scarlet, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get them. And I know in Wave 2 we're going to be getting Cobra, Baroness... And I don't know who else. I think some sort of ninja, which isn't Storm Shadow. It might be one of the Red Ninjas or something like that. But Destro here is pretty dope, man. They're doing a really nice job so far with this G.I. Joe line. So 
Uh, that review is up along with the, the Baby Yoda. And then the other three things I got, I got an older figure here. This is one of Mafex's earlier figures, and that is the, the Mark 43, which isn't a bad figure. It does have a couple QC issues, but it's still a fun a figure and a, and a really nice looking figure as well and I did already review this so if you would like to check that out it is up on my channel so I did get that and then I also got the Comic Cave Studios Mark 43 as well which Comic Cave it, they make really really nice Iron Man figures they have die cast metal I think 75 75% 75 die-cast metal, they have the LED lights and the arc reactor and the eyes and everything articulated and then you get some uh, dope accessories as well. Yeah, they're pretty cool figures, man. Comic Cave Studios does some dope stuff. I do want to get the uh, the blue steel armor as well, so I did get that. Then the last figure I got here, which will be my next review, is the Mafex Shazam. Which is a pretty good figure, man. It's not too bad. Shazam definitely is not one of my more favorite characters. The movie I thought was okay. It was kind of like uh, the movie Big, but if he had superpowers, you know what I mean? But it's de it's definitely a different movie, which is good in the superhero genre. But uh, the figure turned out really nice, man. There is QC issue here and there, which I will go over in the review. But uh, it does look like the actor. I forgot his name. It also does uh, remind me of Scott Atkins, this face sculpt right here. This is definitely going to be my next review. I'm actually working on it uh, right, right now, actually. But anyway, that is my quick latest additions video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, Feel free to give it a thumbs up. You know, like it all well. Like I shouldn't like, but thanks for watching. I will see you later. Ironing board man. Where he irons a lot.